Continuing where we left off with the story missions, I'll be starting with the ASG Bank from Switzerland. And since it's been so long since we've done any missions, my program levels have improved significantly, so these should be a lot easier. Now the focus of this one is wraithing this sentry right here, which will stop the antivirus from getting to the back half of this network. I should be able to get to it since that scanner isn't a super high level. There we go. And we should be good with that. There is one more sentry. I'm not too worried about taking it out, but I should be able to quickly get to it regardless. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We have to capture all the nodes. So, let's see here. We'll begin our crusade. Now, it will require a lot of programs here, so I need to be careful. I do not want to lose any ground. I didn't really need that shocker. I didn't actually mean to put that down, but it's okay. Since the rest of these nodes will not have any antivirus, it should be pretty easy. And we'll begin chopping down these code gates. We should be able to wait for our worms. They're kind of slow though. Still got two minutes, capture all nodes and download the core. Yeah, our shurikens are working out very well here. Speeding it up a lot since they can attack a bunch of nodes at a time. Look at that, that's nice. So we'll just do the cleanup here and then we should be done. We'll head on to the next one. Oh wow, look at that. The worms already made their way towards the back. That was actually pretty fast. I wasn't expecting that. And I believe that is the last node that we are waiting for here. There we go. And no message yet. But let's see which one we need to do next. Pentagon security test for proxy. And I believe we already attempted this one. Yes. We tried the Krakens last time. I think I'm going to go with something a little cheaper like the worms again. This one I'm going to start with uh, some worms on different corners just to get us going here and I'm just gonna let them loose and I will attack from these two that is the plan so my goal here is just to focus on one net connection and just kinda trying to break into the center there there is the antivirus we have to worry about I wanna go straight for that core and then we can uh, make way for our worms let's see here yeah it's working out pretty well the antivirus isn't hitting for a lot it's only about level like 16 so we should be able to clean this up fairly quickly And like I expected, our worms can't do enough damage here. So we're just going to have to help them through here. There we go. And these last ones. I actually didn't have any worms over here, so I kind of forgot about it. But there we go. Mission complete, $300,000 already cleared out all the money if there was any I forgot and we did get a message here from proxy 
One does not get to hack into the Pentagon every day, right? I will forge you results to their engineers. Very cool. Uh, so just doing a little bit of government contract work there. I don't think there will be anything else for proxy though. I guess we'll have to find out later. For now, we're just going to focus on the electricity grid from Black Lotus, who I don't think we've attempted this one before, but it looks super easy for our program levels now. The Eastern Coalition needs to show that the U.S. will not do whatever they want. Fear is what will take the West down, burn down the power grid, and we will tell you what to do next. Ooh, burning down an electricity grid in California there. And as to be expected, it has no security defenses, pretty much. Uh, this one will be fairly easy. I'm not, I don't actually have all my programs finished, but I don't think we'll need them all here. Um, famous last words anyway yeah that antivirus isn't super strong or a lot to worry about there let's get going to take that down there we go getting the money yeah this is a uh, pretty straightforward stuff Hopefully we can get that sentry over here. There we go. Ooh, almost took him. Can we get that? We got one more node there. And... Give me that. There we go. Alright, so we'll clean this one up quick for Black Lotus. And we'll see if we get any new messages from him soon. There we go. We actually got 18,000 B-Coins from this one. The other two, we did not get any B-Coins. And I was actually hoping to get my Evolver upgraded to level 11 since I cannot upgrade my Beam Cannons or Shurikens anymore. It's quite unfortunate, but it's good to know that we have them at a very high level at least, and the next levels after that are huge. So I'll be focusing on getting that upgraded for sure, and see once if I get any new missions here. No new missions have popped up yet, but we got this dude here that says, <laughs> hack me dude. So you know what? We're gonna go give a network a try here. And it looks pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too fancy. I think our program levels are definitely high enough to take down his network. We just got to be careful here. So thankfully his sentry is not level 21. So we should have a much easier time here. Breaking through his defenses. Wait through our ram to break his shields there. Boom, easy. Man, the blaster 13 does a ton of damage to that core level there. And those shurikens should just shred everything. Yeah, as expected. Uh, get our shurikens going again shred through all that and hack me dude is going down <laughs> I mean he literally was asking for it <laughs> that's funny I like that name though that's one way to get people to hack your network more so anyways I figured we'd drop a GG in here for him since he was asking for it there we go and i've been waiting for more missions to pop up here but haven't gotten any so far no luck 
at all. So I think we're going to have to cut this one short for this episode. Before we go, we got this level 65 who has more loot than I've ever seen in my life. So I want to give his network out a try. His guardians here, I don't, I don't think our blasters will be able to break through those. But at least we can get these with our shurikens. So let's get a, get started here. Don't think we'll have too tough of a time. Low level code gates we can just break through and use our shurikens to get past most of this stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. We should quickly be able to break through that. And head on to the next one here. Easy does it. Let's uh, just use a shocker on this one. And we'll just continue going down the road. I want to use my shurikens to take out that, or try and take out that compiler so that antivirus there is no longer shooting it and so that way I can continue towards his other resources there we go and blaster time we're gonna attempt to break through his core here we have a minute and a half left So I'm hoping for some luck. Man, look at that, two million in there, 40,000 in there. I'm just gonna put drop a data leech on both of those. Yeah, look at that. My blasters are not able to break through his guardians. That's amazing. Very high level guardians. Definitely don't have high enough level blasters to break through those. I suppose I will try and put, yeah, my, my battery name isn't even breaking through those either. Well, I guess that's uh, another reason why I need to continue upgrading my blaster. I'm sure if they were like two levels higher at least, we would have been fine, but um, just level 12 isn't quite doing it there that's really cool though we got a ton of loot from this guy and once we get our blasters upgraded we won't have any problem getting the rest of it from networks like this 40,000 B coins that is a lot don't think we yeah we need 200,000 to upgrade our evolver so we can't quite do that yet we still need 60 more that's gonna have to do it for this episode we're not getting any more missions right now so I will be back again with more I hope you all enjoyed like if you did and I will see you all next time